But then because you feel like you're the man, because you feel like you got penis and two balls, then that gives you the cuts to go about and beat on women. It is high time that we talk about things like this. It is high time that we break the silence. Hello ladies, hello gents, thank you for being here today. My name is Miriam Skinder and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted. Today's video is a rather unfortunate one. I wish that um, what we are about to talk today was not something that is happening in our society. But we can no longer be quiet, we can no longer sit and fold our arms and watch things like this unravel. We are talking about abuse, we are talking about domestic violence, we are talking about emotional abuse, mental abuse. You know, all those things that are being are happening in our society, especially men, inflicting this on women. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we do have new uploads because I will be bringing you guys many things that is going to help shape our society. <laughs> by herself is enough when God created man he created a woman out of the ribs of a man to love and behold to cherish to nurture to lead to guide to protect with everything this man has in him to provide he did not create a woman for a man to have a punching bag he did not create a woman for a man to have someone to battle, to beat, to torture. But the norm in our society is becoming outrageous. Men are having the courage, they're having the audacity, they're having the guts to beat on a woman. They're having the courage to torture a woman simply for the fact that this woman has decided to give her all to you. To love you, to respect you, to be with you as a wife or as a girlfriend. But then because you feel like you're the man, because you feel like you got penis and two balls, then that gives you the cut to go about and beat on women. It is high time that we talk about things like this. It is high time that we break the silence. Because women are out there suffering. They are suffering in the hands of men that were made to protect them. They are suffering in the hands of men that were called to lead them. They are suffering in the hands of men that were called to love them, to cherish them. There are many women out here who have lost their lives because of a man. They've lost part of their bodies because of a man. They've lost their self-esteem because of a man. They've become demoralized because of a man. But this is the same man who was called to protect them. This is the same man who was called to shield them from danger. It is high time we stop. It is high time we talk about these things. Women are not punching bags. There are some women out there who are broken. They are not broken physically, but they are broken emotionally. They are broken mentally because of the pain that man has inflicted upon them. You see, a man will not beat on his daughter, but he will beat on his wife. He will not beat on his daughter, but he will beat on his girlfriend. And then he makes excuses for the reason why he beat on this woman. He makes excuses for the reason why he's battering this woman at home. And then sometimes women too will make excuses for this man. Your life is more important than any marriage. Your life is more important than any relationship that you think you want to get into. There are many signs out there that the man has shown you that this is who he is. But we women, we keep making excuses for this man. We have to stop making excuses for a man. If a man as much as threatens you, or how we call it in Africa, if a man fentes you, you know, you know how they raise their hands up like this to threaten you, you have to run because those are signs of abuse. These are the signs that this man is going to torture you, especially when he calls you his wife. Because there are men out there who feel like a woman is an object. They are ornaments that are placed in the home. They have nothing that they can do for themselves. And then they call this woman their property just because they have paid some dowry over their head. No, she is not your property. She is your wife. She was called to help you. 
to make you into a better man. Because God saw that you could not do it on your own. That is why he created a woman to be by your side, not to be beneath you. There are many women out there who are so intelligent, who are very smart, who have built names for themselves. But they cannot as much as get into an elevator. Not because they are claustrophobic, but because of a man who has tortured them and then they are scared. There is one thing that men fail to understand about abuse. No matter how strong a woman is, abuse is something that can demoralize her. It can break her. It can make her even stop believing in herself because she will be like, she wants nothing. This is going to lose her self-esteem. There are women out there who cannot walk at night. They cannot even as much as go to the stores or to just even do grocery because of how scared they are. If someone touches them, they're going to jerk as if you have kicked them just because of the trauma that has been inflicted upon them. We have to stop. Men, you got to stop. Parents, you have to instill values into your sons so that when they grow up, they become adults, they become mature, and they become men. Train up a child in the way that he will grow and not depart from it. Even the Bible tells us that. It is not enough for you to have children. It is not enough to bring children to this world. It is not enough to provide financially for them. But you have to instill values into these kids. Because they grow up to become teenagers. From teenagers, they become adults. And that is how they start ruining the society, ruining women's lives. So you have to train your children properly. Invest a lot in the male child, not only the female child. Women are being taught how to cook, taught how to clean, taught how to take care of the home, taught how to take care of a man. But it is very, very rare to see a man being taught how to do all those things or how to take care of a woman or how to approach a woman or even talk to a woman. There has to be balance in the society. And the funny thing is that these men who batter on women, these men who abuse women, these men who beat on women, they cannot stand their fellow men. If they were to get into a brawl with their fellow men, they will be beaten into a pot. But then all their force, all their energy and their muscles are being laid on this woman. It is high time we stop. It is high time we put an end to this. And it starts from you and I. Being born a male doesn't make you a man. Being born with a penis doesn't make you a man. There are things that you have to go through. There are things that you have to harness yourself. It's like a diamond going through the rough for you to be able to be called a man. There are boys out here that are trapped in a man's body. The fact that you're 30, 40, 50, 60 or even what number does not qualify you to be called a man. There are things that you have to do to be qualified a man. Your character speaks. The way you reason, the way you perceive things speaks. Your ability to control your temper speaks. Those are the things that you have to build. Those are the things that you have to go through to be able to be even as much as called a man. Because just putting on pants doesn't make you a man. Because no man in their rightful senses, no man who is a man is going to lay his hands on a woman that he calls his girlfriend. He's going to lay his hands on a woman that has bore him children. What are you thinking in your head? What is going through your mind before you can beat a woman to her death? A man is not defined by his education. A man is not defined by the clothes he wears. He's not defined by his swag. He's not defined by his luxuries. He's not defined by his lifestyle. He is defined by his ability to control his temper. His ability to do things right by the woman that he calls his own. His ability to nurture and care for that woman. His ability to be an example, to be a mentor to his children. To be an example to the society. Stop producing victims here and there. Because like I said, there is something that happens to a victim of abuse. She feels like when she has taken it for so long and long and long, she feels like that is the norm. She feels like there are no good men out there. She feels like there is nothing about her life that is worth a penny. This is somebody's daughter. 
that is someone's mother, this is someone's sister, that you're treated like a piece of trash. We gotta stop. It's about time we put a stop to this. It's about time we put an end to abuse. As a woman, if a man is beating on you, run. Do not stay in that home because of what people will say. There is nothing in this life that you do that people will not talk. If you put on a pair of shoes, they will talk. If you take off those shoes, they will talk. If you speak the talk, if you don't speak the talk, there is no way that you will do anything without people saying something. If you base your life on what people say, if you base your life on the things or the thoughts that people will have about you, you will die in a relationship that you were not meant to be in in the first place. What are you teaching your female children? What are you teaching your male children? Because when you stay in an abusive relationship, you're teaching the male child that it's okay for a man to beat on a woman. You're teaching the female child that it is okay to receive beatings from your husband. It is okay to receive beatings from a man. You're not doing any good to those children by staying in that relationship. You're making them have low self-esteem. You're changing the projection of their lives. You're making their lives to be ruined at an early stage. Because this is not something that children have to see. This is not an environment that children have to grow up in. Children have to grow up in a loving environment. They have to grow up in a home that is peaceful. They have to be nurtured. They have to be catered for. So when you sit in there because of the children, you're doing them no good. You're harming yourself, you're harming the children, and you're harming the society. We all just heard about the death of um, Osina Chimwachuku. She was a woman of poise. She was a woman with a bright future. She lit up the world. This woman has taken me through some dark moments. Just with her songs. You're my healer, you're my keeper. My restorer, my redeemer. You are the living God. Oh, is there no one like you? Because she decided to stay in an abusive marriage. She stayed there because of the church, because of what people will say, because of her kids. She lived in so much fear and she was a light to the world. This man could not stand what this woman could do. This man could not stand the respect that this woman got. The anointing that was flowing through her. And this man beat her to her death. And we are looking at it, folding our arms and saying nothing about it. Women are out here being battered. Their lives are being cut short by a man that was supposed to protect them. This woman will sing songs and it will touch the souls of many, of thousands, of millions. I am a living testimony of what her songs can do. And a man just put out that light, took it off. For what? Because you're a man? Because you put on the panties? That is not a leader. You cannot call yourself a leader and you beat on a woman. You cannot call yourself the head of the household and you beat on the woman. Women, we need to rise up for each other. We need to rise up for our kids. We need to rise up for the society. We need to make better decisions. Marriage is not a must. You must not be married. There is no crime in being single. Do not get married for the wrong reasons. Do not stay in a relationship for the wrong reasons. Because that is how you lose your life. Like a chicken. As a man, you are the head of the household. How can you use your hands to crumble that house? How can you use your hands to crumble your home? How can you use your hands to trample on the right of your kids? On the sanity of your kids? On the sanity of the woman that you were called to protect? How can you use your hands to bring out blood from somebody? And it's okay. No remorse. No repentance. No healing. Whatever trauma that you have in your youth, whatever trauma that you had as a child, is not going to automatically go into thin air because you're an adult. You have to work on yourself. You have to make sure that you go through the process of healing before you can become a husband. 
go through the process of healing before taking somebody's child to make her your slave. Because all those childhood traumas are one of the reasons why men are boys today. All those childhood traumas, the things that they have seen, the way they've grown up, what has been projected upon them, they are projecting onto another people. Because hurt people hurt people. There is no man that has joy in his heart that will lay his hands on a woman. There is no man who has high self-esteem that will lay his hands on his woman. Every act of violence, every act of abuse that a man inflicts upon a woman comes from his own place of insecurity. It comes from his own place of lack. It comes from his own place of lack of self-worth. That is why he's projecting on that woman. It is not about the woman. It is about his inner demons. It is about the way he feels about himself. That is why he will lay his hands on a woman. You gotta heal before you make someone your wife. You gotta heal before you even think as dating somebody's child. One thing you fail to understand is that a woman is a reflection of her husband. Whatever you feel into that woman is what she's going to bring out. There is a saying that there is no peace for the wicked. As long as you batter that woman, as long as you inflict pain upon her, you will not find peace. If you're a Christian and you're watching me, there is one thing that I want you to understand as a man. When you take a woman and make her your wife, she becomes your responsibility. She becomes yours to care for. She becomes yours to protect. But when you decide to start laying your hands upon her, to start raining insults on her, to bring her to nothing, to ashes, You have to know that there is power in the prayer of a woman. Because if that woman as much as lay her knees on the floor, your life is ended. And when I talk about your life is ended, I don't mean you're going to die. I mean nothing that you touch will prosper. Nothing that you want, you will get. Because there is a power in the prayer of a woman. You, as a man, cannot carry children. As a man, you cannot bore a child. You do not have the ability to carry a child and bring to life. Only a woman comes with food for children. Only a woman has breasts that can feed children. She's the only one that has a womb that can carry children. And you came from a woman's womb. So before you raise your hand on a woman, you have to think twice. Before you raise your hand on a woman, you have to make sure that you're ready for doom. I cannot, for the life of me, fathom why a man will even raise his hands on a woman. Who gave you the audacity to do that? She's not your punching bag. As a society, we need to raise responsible men. As parents, we need to raise responsible men. Teach your children, especially the male child at home, how to love themselves, how to treat a woman, how to take care of themselves. It is not a woman's position to heal your son. It is not a woman's position to make your son to become a man. It is yours and that of the man. Build men with roots and not a shaky ground. Because any man that has depth, any man who has good roots, is not going to lay his hands on a woman. Will know the value of a woman, of a human being, and not bring insults and abuses on that person. And not torture someone mentally, and not torture someone emotionally, and not torture someone physically. There are many things out there that are catering to women. Women are the focal point because people believe that it is only a woman that has to do things that is going to make a man feel his ego, that is going to boost the ego of a man. No, there are things that we need to teach the men. There should be conferences, there should be things held to educate these men 
And if these men cannot go somewhere to find help, even the TVs that they are watching, even social media, they are, they are on all the time. People should be talking about those things. Because as they say, faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word only. If these men are being taught standard, if these men are hearing things that they are supposed to hear, I believe there's going to be a change. It is high time that we start talking to the men and not only women should be the focal point of people's thoughts. Let's take, for example, birth control, right? Who are they catering to? The women. But a woman can only carry a child to full term once in a year. But a man can impregnate 20, 30, 40 women in a year. So who should be taking birth control? The man or the woman? So you see, society has made us to believe that women are the ones who have beneath men. Women are the ones that have to be trampled on. Women are the ones that they have to focus on when it comes to things that has to do with the men. But we have to change the narrative. It is high time that we have women for change. It is high time that we have women who are not bad. At. It is high time that we have men who are men. Teach your children. Teach your male children. Raise them properly. Do not bore a child if you cannot take care of that child. Do not have children for the wrong reasons because that is how we ruin the society. Where did the woman go wrong? Where did women go wrong? Evil in the household should not generate from within. A household is supposed to be close-knit. It is supposed to be guarded. If you call yourself a leader, if you call yourself the head of the household, be one. The head of the household is in being, is in doing, is in catering, not in battering. Ladies, you're beautiful. You're creative. You're intuitive. You're feminine. You're smart. You can do everything that you set your mind to do. If you are in an abusive relationship, if a man as much as lay his hands on you, run. That is why you have two legs. Even if you don't have two legs, call someone to carry you and run. Run for your life. Run for the life of your unborn kids. Run for the life of the kids that you have. Run for the society. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. Every woman who has been battered out there. Every woman who is alive to say their story. I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you know when we have new uploads. And, and believe you me, we will talk and talk and talk about abuse until it sticks into the head of those who need to hear it. Thank you so much guys and have a fab one. Bye.